So today is the 50 cent charity rummage sale in Chancellor, South Dakota. It is so foggy this morning that I have decided not to go um, early like I usually do. I will head over there after work and I'll bring you along. We'll see what we can find. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. We are here. I'm off of work. I'm looking over at the holiday stuff first. Hmm. We have more here. Lots of ornaments. Probably a good pick up. We have a fake fiber optic poinsettia. It's a cute Santa. Oh. Always look for homemade. These are not homemade, but always look for homemade Christmas tree skirts. They sell pretty well. Letters over there that are kid like. And... There's a little gnome over there. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Just want to make sure you have enough room to look. Okay. Oh, look at that. With the rose and a bowl. I wouldn't want to ship that though. Oh gosh. There's a kitty back there. A lot of this is handcrafted stuff. It's an angel made out of a placemat. Cats. Hmm. Oh, 
lighthouse. Let's put a rug. Hmm, these are interesting. That big jar up there. I have one like that. I picked up at the bins. Here, it would only be 50 cents, so a lot cheaper. Oh my God. That's pretty. Some mushroom dishes. I like those. Yes. Look at that. Picking these up. She sucks. See what else we can find. Carving faces. If you need picture frames. This would definitely be a place. Okay, so I'm gonna look here at the vases. Just regular ones, even though this one's huge. Very heavy. yellow one. Just looking at this one back here. It's an Ellen. Made in. Kind of pretty. Oh. Jeez. I like this green one. Well, I went back and looked at the Christmas again. Didn't really find anything. Mm. Looks like lots of hinges. Hmm. I was hoping this was like one of those flipper ones, like the, but it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna go and look at the Christmas flowers. So last time I bought a bunch of clothes for my new little grandson, Bright is his name, and they ended up coming back because for the funeral, what is this? That's cute. Um, anyway, and a lot of them fit him already. I'm kind of not sure what size to, to uh, pick up for him now. But you know, the little tiny clothes, they don't wear those out. Oh, that's cute. So, 
Okay, so that was nine months old. Little uh, shorts, overall shorts. So I picked those up because I think by summer he'll be in that size. Okay, I'm just going to run through the t-shirts quick. Um, for no other reason than if there's like a... What's this? Harry Davidson. Um, if there's like old band t-shirt, tour t-shirts, they sell really well. Not something I usually do though. Hey, what's this? I don't I have no idea. I didn't look at women yet. rummage sale came through to me even though I got there late I really didn't get there until about 2 30 I usually try to be there when the doors open at 8 but that day it was just too foggy so let me show you some of the things I still picked up I only spent five dollars only bought one bag so the first is this wall pocket made in Japan I think I've sold either this one or one very similar to it um, so, like I said, all of this cost me $5, so I'm saying a dollar is what I, I paid for this. So, a dollar for a, a wall pocket. It is vintage, probably though, maybe 50s or 60s, not sure. I picked up these Home Co. brass like butterflies. I know you've all seen them, but got six of them. You know, they sell. They're, you know, not real high end, but they'll sell. Probably, I don't know, 25 or 30 for the six of them. And then I don't know, I mean, Ethan Allen, of course I've heard of Ethan Allen before, but I found this green, very tall bud base, and it is marked Ethan Allen on it. And I think, I mean, I've seen some of them listed, but they were over in Europe, so... You know, I'm, I'm not sure. They were listed for around, I mean, convert it to American about $40. So, got to do a little more research on this. Then, I bought this probably 1970s blue kind of turquoise uh, hand crocheted shawl. Certainly, you know, like a boho hippie type. It's not real big, so probably either for a small size woman or for a for a teenager, but um, paying a dollar, whoops, this got caught on my Christmas tree. Paying a dollar for it, they go for about 35 or $45. And then what I, I call my find of the day, it's um, 16 pieces, but it's of the mushroom Melmap dining wear. So there's this, the dinner plate, and it's got, you know, the really, it's not Mary Mushroom, but very similar to it. And then a, a smaller type salad bowl in brown. 
and then a cup and saucer, a white saucer with a brown coffee cup. I already have this listed and I did list this for $99 only because I really haven't seen a whole complete um, set sold before. I saw four of the plates and they went for, I think it was $66. So, <coughs> excuse me, my throat is very dry. So I think for the whole set, 99 is not a bad price. And of course that includes shipping. So once again, the charity rummage um, came through to, for me. I did pick up a couple of little uh, children's outfits for my new grandson and then maybe uh, a little co coverall or overalls, I should say, bib overalls for one of my great nieces that I thought was really cute. So if you're ever in Chancellor, they hold them every two months. You can look on Facebook. Um, I'll put the link below. And uh, I would say hit up that, that uh, charity rummage sale. It's a great place to find really cheap items, either for yourself or to resell. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.